Okay, we are in, or I am in, Newport Coast, California, one of the most affluent cities in Southern California, and what we are going to take on a little tour of a Rolls Royce Ghost. So, uh, I'm going to highlight very quickly some of the features. For example, um, we've got our hood, hood ornament, which is iconic when it comes to Rolls Royce. Not only our grill, um, what's cool about this though is it actually retracts. It uh, can be tr retracted electrically, so there's a button inside that will pop this down and a plate covers over it. Uh, we've got our very opulent grill and very cool, uh, very assuming front end. Um, what's uh, very unique about this is it has what's called suicide doors. And they open like that. A throwback to the, I don't know when, 60s? Who knows when they first came out. Anyhow, let's take a look at the sticker. So, suggested retail price starts at $263.00. Two hundred, two hundred sixty-three thousand dollars. But by the time you get down to all the add-on dealer options and so forth, um, we've got thirty-three thousand dollars worth of different features. Rear theater configuration is seven grand alone. We've got bespoke options. If you don't know what bespoke means, that just means custom. Uh, ventilated seats. We've got air conditioning and heat that will come through all the seating. Um, let's see. R&R uh, &R all headrest contrast. That's probably the stitching that's embroidered on all the headrests. And then all the other BS, the government, destination handling, gas guzzler tax, all that BS governmental crap. And then we've got a grand a total of three hundred fourteen thousand dollars, three hundred and or I'm sorry, three hundred fourteen thousand three hundred twenty-five dollars. We will notice a couple things, even though this is assembled in. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, ch 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 <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I botched that up royally, did I? Uh, pun intended on the royal, you know, royalty in old Great Britain. But the engine and transmission are made in Germany. And I, it's so hard to keep up with all the acquisitions of the car companies. That could be a BMW outsourced moment. Who knows? Anyhow, so a couple of features. Let's start right here in the back. Um, we've got these push-pull volume control for the ventilation system. This is still manually adjusted here. Um, we've got our entertainment system here. Pretty decent flat screen. Uh, check this out. You've got your little uh, gray Poupon for all you older folks. Anyone under the age of 40 probably would not remember the gray Poupon commercial where a guy pulls up in a, a guy driving either a Bentley or he's being chauffeured in either a Bentley or Rolls Royce. And the guy asked for any gray Poupon because it's just that elitist. But this pops out your little eating tray or whatever you want to do with it tray. Uh, there's heavy use of chrome in this. I'm a little surprised that the um, excessive use, of what I would call excessive use of chrome from all the grab handles, the lighting. Uh, we've got this little side mirror in case uh, you're just that vain and you want to keep constantly checking yourself. So uh, I'm not sure about that. We've got a door button here, which let's see. Actually, yep, there. Okay, so I can just shut this door. Once I get in, I can shut this door with this little button. And let's see if I can open it now. Nope, it just shuts it for you. I still have to manually open the door. Wow, how am I gonna survive? Uh, then we got this. This is in the actual door jam of the door. Check this out. Push this button and what do we have? But not just a miniature umbrella, but literally a full-size umbrella. Heaven forbid you'd ever be caught with your pants down in the rain. And that's encased in the door itself. That is pretty trick. Now here is a pull-away shot of the dash. 
and it's what I would call uh, Art Deco if we were talking about um, architecture and design and it's got this kind of uh, tinted it's like a green tint I don't know if it's going to show up on the video but it's got a green tint to these buttons for the radio let's see if this will open yep there we go we've got our little hideaway uh, monitor screen it's going to shut back up for us um, let's see we've got all our customary more retro looking styling so you could call it retro, you can call it whatever you want. It's got its own separate, this is the big fabulous key fob with all its different controls. Um, that in itself is opulent. It's got its own little placeholder here that you can push down there so this will still shut. It's got a soft touch open and close. Same with this, uh, which is would be the officially the ashtray. So we'll close those back up. Um, let's see. I'm going to see if this shows, but it's got this wood veneer. And I'm guessing that if you saw a commercial for Rolls Royce, they would talk about how the wood is hand finished. Well, guess what? If it's showing up, all these, what are officially called swirl marks. And I know that swirl marks are not put in by hand. You can get scratches put in by hand, but this has truly been finished with a buffer. Now, maybe uh if they really did say it was hand finished my guess is that means that they just wiped it off or dusted it off after they put a buffer to it by hand therefore they can call it hand finished why because hand finish has got to be better than machine finished because you got an artisan that is finishing it by hand versus a machine it's much more personal and special yes i hope that my sarcasm is coming through loud and clear uh, let's see what else once again up here on the the roof uh, we have the controls for the sunroof this is your SOS dialing pad or button in case you're uh, under duress or stress or an accident whatever once again notice the heavy use of chrome we've got the heavy use of chrome stripping which to me that's elegant in that um, application but there's just chrome everywhere. Let's go to the door seals. Not one, but two sets of chrome. And then you've got this whole chrome housing for the seat itself. Uh, chrome controls for the seat. Very extensive use of chrome. Now let's see if there was anything else that I wanted to highlight. In case you have never seen the pneumatic door uh, closures where you literally just barely push this and it pops in itself the rest of the way so let's say you're a grandmother or the disabled um, you just barely pull to open and then to shut it you barely have to I want to make sure that's showing up for you guys so I'm barely getting it and then the rest of the way it pneumatically pulls the door in taut I'll show you on this one Voila, uh, the trunk does the same. We have what's called, well, there's a little drip. I blew these wheels, uh, but it just retains so much water. They call these wheels self-riding logos. So these spin, it's like spinner wheels. If you're familiar with those from back in the uh, early 2000s, when those, those became so popular, where the wheel stays, it's, uh, you know, there must be some kind of bearing that allows it just to, retain the upright position regardless of how fast the wheel is spinning so if you're on the freeway you'd be able to look over at this car and still see the RR logo um, in full upward correct position anyhow um, I think that's pretty much it so I, I dig the styling of these these cool massive handles um, retro looking I call them again and the fact that they're suicide doors I'm a huge fan of that because to me that looks not just looks cool but it just is cool and this car is cool very ostentatiously cool but you know to each his own right
Um, we've got our LED side light with the Rolls-Royce logo on the side. And once again, pull back. This is a massive car. You just, it's uh, probably won't do it justice because there's no context as far as a person, like I can't stand in front of it right now to show you. I'm about 5'10ish and anyhow, point is, is it's a massive car. Okay, hope you enjoyed the tour. Till next time. Uh, I'm trying to do more of these, but honestly, I just rarely have time because I'm always racing to the next car. I uh, had a few moments today, so hope you enjoyed the tour. Okay, I forgot to add the um, stats for the engine. 6.6 .6 liter, 48 valve, 60 degree V12 aluminum alloy engine with direct fuel injection, variable valve lift and timing, 563 horsepower at 5250 to 6000 RPMs, a big whopping 575 pounds of foot pounds of torque, um, which is spinning force. That's what torque is, it's spinning force. That's pretty significant. This car probably weighs uh, close to 5,000 pounds though. I have driven it, um, had to do a little uh, swapping of cars for my customer. So yes, it rides fabulous. Yes, it's got uh, more than uh, enough power. You really, um, and what's so crazy because how heavy this car is, um, you just feel incredibly safe. So it is truly an impressive car. Okay, I didn't have time to read the owner's manual, but I figured out how to make the ornament pop up. So let's go. Ba bam! And then when I lock it. Ba-bam! How's that for coolness?